As a Lynda.com member, you can use the bookmarks feature to mark any individual videos or even specific parts of videos you find especially important or useful so that you can easily find them again later. Let's start with a look at how bookmarks work. While logged into your account, you can roll your mouse over My Courses and choose Bookmarks. And here I can see some bookmarks I previously created. There are two main types of bookmarks you can create. You can bookmark an entire video or bookmark specific points in time in the videos. This top bookmark here is a video bookmark. Clicking its name takes me to this course, and that video is automatically queued up in the player here. I'll go back to the main bookmarks page. Now the second bookmark is a time code bookmark. Clicking a time code bookmark immediately opens and plays that video in its own window. So now let's take a look at how we create bookmarks by opening a course page. I already have one open in another tab here. Now as you scroll down through the table of contents of a course, note that the bookmark icon appears by each individual video. To bookmark any of these movies at any time, simply click the bookmark button. Notice the bookmark fills in, making it easy to see which items you've marked. Or you might also want to bookmark unwatched movies based on their names to remind yourself to watch those movies at a later time. So adding a bookmark is as simple as clicking the bookmark icon next to an item. But when browsing through your bookmarks later, you might not remember why you marked a particular movie. You can add details to your bookmarks by going back to the bookmarks page, and here's the bookmark I just created. I'll click edit over here. Now currently the name field is blank. You can either leave it that way or change the name to something that will better help you remember why you're bookmarking the movie. I'll just give it the same name as the video itself. And in the description field, I might enter something like has good tips for organizing starter pages, or anything else that will help put the movie in context for me later. You can use up to 300 characters in the description field. We also suggest that you add tags to your bookmarks, which will help you categorize and locate your bookmark videos later. You can create your own tags with each tag separated by spaces. For instance, work, space, Dreamweaver, and website. If you're entering a tag that contains more than one word, just contain it in quotes. Then click Update when you're done. Now, it can be kind of inconvenient to come back to the main bookmarks page just to add the descriptions and tags, especially if you're in the middle of watching a video. Let's take a look at another way to create a video bookmark. I'll just click this bookmark to go back to the course page, and here I'll just find another movie to start playing it. So let's say I'm in the middle of watching this movie, and I decide I want to bookmark it for later. To bookmark the movie you're watching, just roll your mouse over the movie to bring up the controls, and here you'll find the Bookmark Video button. Bookmarking from the video controls lets you add the name and description right away. And doing it this way also fills in the name for you. I'll just type a brief description here. Now if you do want to add tags, you'll have to go back to the main bookmarks page to do so. But by using the bookmark button in the player, you can at least add the name and description without leaving the course page. I'll click Save. Now the other type of bookmark you can add is a time code bookmark. These are bookmarks you also add while watching a movie but they allow you to bookmark a specific section of the video. So let's start another movie playing. Let's just say I'm about halfway through the movie, and I hear something that I want to make sure I'll remember later. You can click the time code bookmark button to bookmark that exact moment in the movie. Again, give it a name and a description, and I'll click Save. And notice that places a little bookmark button on the playback bar. And then you can continue adding timecode bookmarks if you come across other information in the same movie that you want to remember. So let's just say I'm watching the movie some more. And I decided I want to add another timecode bookmark. And in this case, I'll have no description. And now I have a second timecode bookmark. So let's take a look at the bookmarks I just created by going back to my course's bookmarks. Bookmarks are displayed with the most recently created bookmarks listed first, so I can see the bookmarks I just made at the top of the list. As we saw earlier, clicking on this timecode bookmark opens the movie, 
and I can see the bookmark icons I placed here in the timeline. While viewing your bookmarks, you can choose between a simple or detailed view of your bookmarks, with detailed being the default. Clicking on a tag displays all the bookmarks that share that tag. And you can continue filtering your results by clicking additional tags to display all the movies those tags have in common. Click the tags with the minus signs to remove those tags. Or click See All of My Bookmarks to view all of your bookmarks once again. Similarly, you can click See All Tags to browse through all of the tags used in each of your bookmarks. If you have a large number of tags, you can use the letters to navigate your tags alphabetically. Return to your bookmark list again by clicking Return to My Bookmarks. And you can also type search terms in the Search My Bookmarks field. Clicking Search then displays any names, descriptions, or tags that contain your search term. And finally, to remove a bookmark that's no longer needed, or one that you may have accidentally created, just click Delete. Confirm that you do want to delete it. And just remember that deleting bookmarks can't be undone, so be sure you really want to delete them. A great feature for storing and organizing the important information you learn while watching our training videos.